Hey, this is Beth. It's a beautiful April evening, so I'd like you to sit back and join me for a visit to our favorites on the front of the farm. We've got the carrots. We're gonna go up the side run tonight. You ready? Here comes Sarava. Sarava is 21 years old now. He came to us when he was 13 years old. Sarava won the Belmont Stakes in 2002. War Emblem, who we still drastically miss, had won the Derby and the Preakness. Sarava and Medallia Doro duked it out at the end of the Belmont that year. Sarava won the race. 70 to 1, he paid $142.70 if you bet $2 on him to win in that race. Good job, Sarava. He was trained by Ken McPeak, owned by Gary Drake and his family, ridden guy by Edgar Prado. He did his stud career in Florida. It didn't really work out for him. He didn't sire a lot of stakes winners. And so when that didn't work, his owner, Gary Drake, and his family donated him to old friends. They come to see him play with them all the time. It's obvious they love him very much. And he's lovable. Here comes Nicanor. He's also very lovable, as many of you know. Nicanor would love to get a back scratch from you all. He can't wait until he can see you in person and get that back scratch. But he did get some carrots tonight. Nicanor, of course, is Barbaro's full brother. He's a, he's a listed stakes placed. He's a talented racehorse, but not a champion. Homebred for Roy and Gretchen Jackson, like his brother. When his stud career didn't work out for him, the Jacksons understanding that we get our donations by having stars, rock stars on our farm. That's how we take care of our horses. They donated Nicanor to us because he's a rock star. And here comes a superstar. Here comes Game On Dude. Game On Dude was trained by Bob Baffert. He is the only horse in the whole history of racing to win the Santa Anita Handicap three times. In 2013, he won all three premier West Coast races. That one year, he won the Santa Anita Handicap, he won the Hollywood Gold Cup, and he won the Pacific Classic. Amazing racehorse. He is up for induction in the Hall of Fame. Little Mike, arguably the best horse on the grass in the world at long distances in 2012. He won the Breeders' Cup Turf, having won the Arlington Million. Yawn, all in a day's work if you are Little Mike. He was a homebred for the Vacareza family who donated him to be another rock star and help our other horses get the care they need by his presence. These are two grand old geldings for sure. To the left, the bigger horse is Soy Fett, and the other guy is Hoagie. Soy Fett was the king of Los Alamitos racetrack in California, trained by Leonard Powell, owned by the Powell family and their partners. He earned a million dollars. Hoagie owned a million dollars too. Hoagie is a multiple grade three winner amazing horses who kept their form right up, you know, into 10, 11 years old. And next to them is Touch Gold. Touch Gold is our other Belmont winner. This is the horse who denied the Triple Crown to Silver Charm. Touch Gold, under Chris McCarran, won the Belmont in 1997, having also won the, uh, the Lexington Stakes, he won the Haskell. 
And there's the man, there's Silver Charm. By his own preference, Silver Charm spends his evenings inside. That's how he wants it, so what he wants, he gets. He won the Derby and the Preakness in 97. He also, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2007. He'd also won the Dubai World Cup, achieved world championship status in 98. Also 26 years old, not so famous, but wonderful, is River Squall. River Squall won the Hawthorne Derby and the Saranac Stakes at Saratoga. He's got the same dad that Charismatic had, Summer Squall. He retired to us from Texas. And there's Afternoon Delights. He's got on his grazing muzzle. It's summer, it's spring coming into summer. He'll have to wear that all summer. What that does is it protects him from grass founder, which he's prone to. He can still graze, he just doesn't get to eat as much. He raced for Burt Bacharach, trained by Richard Mandela. He ran in the 95 Derby. He earned more than a million dollars. And I was really hoping to get an interview from our spokeshorse, Little Silver Charm, but he had something else going on, dinner. He graciously came over to say hello. He stayed with us as long as he was still chewing his mouth full of food, but he's a man who's got his priorities. As I was visiting Patch, I ran into some more people doing a carrot run around the farm. Note the number of buckets Michael and Diane have on the golf cart. I think they're going to visit every single horse on the farm tonight. Patch is six years old. He's a one-eyed horse. When he was two years old, he had to have his left eye removed due to a tumor. He recuperated very quickly. Ran in uh, the Kentucky Derby that Always Dreaming won. Our young retirees are a lot of fun because some of them like to race the golf cart. And Michael has found out that Patch loves to race that golf cart. So let's see if he will for you all. Oh yeah. Think you could win next year's Derby? I'm just joking, he's retired, of course. Oh, look how far back that golf cart is. Yeah. So what else is doing? Okay, Stormy Liberal, you gonna race me? Popcorn and Ring, you gonna race me? Uh, look. Is that golf cart finally starting to come around? Yeah. Yeah, there it is, way back. You beat it by that much, Pat. What's doing now? Stop. Oh, Michael's getting out. What's going on down there? Michael's getting carrots. What's he gonna do with them? What's going on? Uh, oh, he's gonna give some carrots to Stormy Liberal? What? He got carrots? He's gonna give them to Stormy Liberal? What?
There's popcorn and ring. Popcorn delights and special ring. Popcorn is now 22, special ring is now 23. They were youngsters Patch's age when they came to us. Popcorn, of course, he's the near one, was played Seabiscuit in the movie, in the match race, and in the starting gate scene. Special ring, he's showing us his tattoo. He wants to show you that tattoo in Rio and get a carrot from you. This is you and I. He's 29 now. And he gets, he's kind of chewing, chewing. He gets his carrot shredded these days. His teeth are not what they were when he was a youngster, but he still loves his shredded carrots. He was trained by Bobby Frankel. He won the Cowden Stakes and the Riva Ridge Stakes and he won the Met Mile and the Brooklyn Handicap in his day. It was in 95, so he's now one of our most senior members. And he's one of our younger, newer guys. This is Pollard's Vision. Pollard's Vision is 19. He ran in the 2004 Derby, that's Smarty Jones Derby. Pollard's Vision got his name because he is also a one-eyed horse. And Red Pollard was blind in one eye. If you've read Laura Hill and Brand's book, you know this story. No biz like showbiz. He won the wood. He won the holy bull. Smooth Air. Smooth Air is a multiple graded stakes winner. He earned a million. He doesn't care. Life is all about a good, sweet mouthful of hay. And this is Sun King. Sun King was the best son, he is the best son of Charismatic. Sun King thinks I'm slow. He likes to race people instead of the golf cart and he's trying to get me to race. I'm too old. Sun King's only 18. I'm considerably older than that. Have some mercy, Sun King. He was trained by Nick Zito. He won the Pennsylvania Derby. He won the Tampa Bay Derby. He won an amazing running of the Commonwealth Stakes at Keeneland. <laughs> he was owned by Tracy Farmer, who retired him to old friends when he lost his fertility due to a uh, medical condition. Oh, I finally caught up, finally did. There's another carrot, son. So on behalf of Sun King and all of his friends on the farm, it was great visiting with you all. And we hope that we will be seeing you as soon as it's safely possible.